Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm Ms. Crashy, and today we're going to be diving into a build guide for Jungle Fang Mao, specifically Jungle Fang Mao. I always focus on jungle and we're going to talk about some of the best itemization and even I want to show you all a specific way to play him, um, which I probably won't do in other videos. Uh, drop a like on the video, subscribe for future predecessor content. Let me know in the comments down below which hero you would like to see next. And let's go ahead and jump into the guide. I'm going to talk about the item set. I'm going to talk about why you want to build it and how the item works. So first and foremost, the first item you're going to build is Mind Razor. It is this this first recommended item and the thing about this item is that it is a very like perfect fang mao item it has physical power so we're going to take a look at the stats 45 physical power 200 mana 15 ability haste but also this is the first component you're going to be looking to build here so keep in mind when you're doing your build pathing path you want to build the soul chalice first and the reason why let's take a look at the soul chalice 10 physical power 150 mana five ability haste and then potent uh, font on killing enemy unit gain five max mana stacks up to 400 and then at 400 you gain two percent of your mana as physical power so this is you gain two percent of your mana as physical power and the item gives you 400 but this is also just as you're scaling through the game you're converting your mana into physical power so the reason why this is important is because if you look at the potent font on the mind razor and you look at the potent font on soul chalice it's the same it doesn't change it doesn't upgrade for, from upgrading it so the sooner you can buy soul chalice the faster you can start stacking this and building damage and just scaling your damage throughout the, the course of the game so your first buy is going to be soul chalice now there is some i would say there is some debate about whether or not you should full build the mind razor or build soul chalice into your next item because you could build soul chalice and then immediately go into another item and then come back to, to mind razor I think it's okay. Personally, for me, I just keep it simple and I build the full Mind Razor. So the full Mind Razor is going to give you a lot of power that's going to be scaling throughout the course of the game. You're going to have the Barbaric Cleaver, which builds into Ingenious Cleaver or Cleave, and that's on dealing non-item damage. You deal 30% of that damage in an area around them. So this is going to help your clear time. So as you're mailing, you're going to clear. Think about Overlord for Chimera. It's the same thing, but this is like the Assassin version of it. And then you have 40 physical power, 45 physical power, 15 ability haste, 200 mana so this is item is a very very big core fang mao item you're gonna see every fang mao player build this and it is the best now the next big item for fang mao and this is kind of the item that like breaks fang mao and makes him incredibly strong is omen let's take a look at omen omen is 45 physical power eight physical penetration 20 ability haste and then you have bestial torment while moving so think about this i'm going to show you how this works too bestial torment or bestial torment while moving, generate stacks of torment at a one, at 100 stacks and power your next basic attack. So you deal additional damage on your next basic attack and it reduces your non-ultimate cooldowns by two. I'm going to very clearly show you how to use this in a little bit. Uh, once I get the third slot build in, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, this is something to, important to note. If you look at Thang Mao's Earth Shatter, that's his R ability, his ultimate ability. It is leap forward in a line, leap into a forward line attack. You deal 493 damage. And that red damage, that red icon there is penetration. And if you look at his safeguard, you know, this is penetration. So you're not just scaling off attack, you're actually scaling off pen as well. So you really want to build the majority of his items are pen items. That's why if you look at a lot of his recommended items, they're items that have pen. So Fang Mao's stats, obviously he wants physical power, but he wants ability haste and he wants pen. And this is really, really important. So pretty much every item that you should be getting has some version of that. So Omen, physical power, ability haste, pen, mind razor, physical power, power, ability haste. And then this brings you a lot of power. So really, really important. Not that it has pen on it, but really important. Now, the next item that you want to get is perforator. This item has physical power, pen, ability haste, but it also, and this is the main reason why you get it. Um, it has the cool chilling spells on dealing ability damage slow by 25% for one second, reduced to 10% for dot abilities. So like as you jump on someone, you're going to get a little slow on them. But the main reason you build this is because it has all those stats that you want that we just talked about, but it has puncture. And the puncture passive is ignore 28% of physical armor. This is crazy. When you're building the build path, keep in mind you want to go for the Zealous Tomahawk because this is a smaller version of that with desolate passive, ignore 18%. So as you're building this, make sure if you can, right, if you can, if you can't, if you can only start building this, go for it it doesn't really matter but if you can build the zealous tomahawk first it's going to give you some of that physical uh shred it's essentially pen but it's percentage pen so it's not exactly flat pen it doesn't exactly work the same but you're reducing armor which means you're doing more damage this is the core three build i could give you options on how you want to build him after this i think that's totally fine so if you need some anti-magic 
Dread is a really good option, or if you need a little bit more survivability than that, like, because this is going to be more damage with a little bit of magic armor, or you could pick up something like Tectonic Mallet. Tectonic Mallet is going to give you move speed, magic armor, physical power, ability haste, and then you gain 20% of your bonus movement speed as physical power, and then, you know, while you're slowed, you gain 10% movement speed. So this is a really good, like, Fang Mao magic armor kind of bruiser item. Um, like I said, otherwise, you could filter by physical pen and just look at a lot of these different items. They're very good. I think Infernum is a really, really strong item right now. This has everything you want on it as well. So it's got 40 physical power, six pen uh 15 ability haste it's got 250 mana which again is going to scale into your damage and then this has some dot damage on it with the cinder passive um pain weaver used to be one of fang Mao's like really really big items not quite as important anymore uh but this is 45 physical power 10 pen 10 ability haste and then whenever you're using your abilities you're gaining physical pen and then you're actually gaining movement movement speed as well so like pain weaver and tectonic mallet go really really well together if you're having a hard time say like staying alive you can always throw like one physical armor item at the end of your build like something like a stone wall that's like you know mitigates some damage and like stuns them off of you this is always an option for assassins at times or like bruisers at times uh, to kind of give them a little bit more staying power um, so i really like to just slot a core three build and I just kind of give it to y'all and put it in your hands. I will say there are some items you want to stay away from. If you have Perforator, you cannot build Demolisher. This is very important because they share a passive. passive, And passives do not stack. So you have the Puncture passive. Demolisher also has the Puncture passive. Keep that in mind. Um, Nightfall, not a great item. Demon Edge is like an anti-shield item. Super, super niche. I guess you could build this against Muriel. Uh, Deathstalker is like a pen assassin item that converts pen to attack speed it's really niche and not super great um vanquisher not the best item for fang mao envy not terrible not a terrible item and then i have even seen i haven't done a ton of testing myself but i have seen some like top tier fang mao players build augmentation this is this is an item that makes sense to me it just kind of brings you into that bruiser path so augmentation is the same stats right you're not getting pen but you're leaning more into the bruiser path now so it's like 40 physical power 20 haste 300 health and then you get that on hit true damage so you deal a, like a large percentage of your damage true hit on hit or true damage on hit after you use an ability so after you dash in use an ability and then smack them you're gonna hit them really really hard and then on casting your ultimate you're gonna get a movement speed buff and then one of my favorite items to kind of slot like fifth slot sometimes fourth fifth slot is mutilator this is a another like fighter bruiser item gives you just about everything you need except for pen so you're kind of leaning away from pen damage leaning more into bruiser, bruiser survivability 45 physical power 15 ability haste 8 omni vamp so you're actually going to heal off some of your abilities and then on your basic attacks you're going to be this is more like tank shredder like deal one percent their maximum health as damage on auto attacks but devour is apply mutilate three times steals five percent of their max health for 20 seconds occurs once per target so if you like dash in and this is ability hits on heroes if you dash in and pop your e on people you're going to hit all of them and like steal some health from them and actually make yourself a little bit more tanky so all right now last but not least like i said i'm going to mainly show you all the core three start with these three items you're going to be in a good place to go uh, after that build a little bit of whatever you need this is how you want to use the omen so if you look at my bottom right toolbar like where my items are you can see that i have the 100 stack so let me show you what that looks like to not have it so this is what omen looks like so it's when you move you're building the stacks do you see it this is really important so you have to keep track of this you have to kind of like know when you have it so often this is kind of like what the the play cycle feels like you have 100 stacks you're gonna dash in so you're going to use your dash, you're going to pop your E, you're going to press your Q, you're going to auto attack. And this is going to give you the ability to use all your abilities and then cash in this omen passive, which is going to reduce your cooldowns by two seconds. So, and then you're going to have this back. I think I have haste on, so let me do it again. And I think, if I remember correctly, you can actually fill like an auto before the Q goes in because there's a little bit of delay on Omen, but that takes a little bit more. So I'm kind of keeping it a little bit simple, but I'll try it. So dash. And then you have like your cooldowns are, are back pretty quickly. So let me get that built up again. Dash, ability dump. And then you have your E back up again, basically. So lots of haste in this build, especially if you're using the Omen correctly. So again, you want to dash in and basically ability dump. 
and then you're going to get your abilities back very, very quickly. The more haste you build, the faster you're going to be dumping and jumping around and using all of these abilities. So friends, there you have it. Drop a like on the video and subscribe for future predecessor content. Like I said, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Um, there's a lot of options. You can go way more into the damage and just build more pen. Uh, you can go into the survivability and build some of the bruiser items. You can build something like a stone wall to keep yourself alive. I think something like Citadel is fine. You can kind of dash into the back line, reduce some of their armor while having some armor for yourself. If you need to get a tainted online, I think a tainted blade is not terrible. This is more health and haste and physical power and then anti-healing. There's a lot of options for Feng now. This is the core three. Stick to the core three. Branch out. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to be kind to one another. Tell someone you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.